Hello everyone, this is Nisi back with another video on my new channel, Spoil Me Nisi. Tonight I will be reviewing A Teacher, which is an FX show that airs on Hulu every Tuesday morning at 12 o'clock midnight. Um, if you haven't already started watching the show, please keep in mind that this video will have some spoilers as well as all the other videos that I post, hence the name, Spoil Me Nisi. Um, so a teacher is pretty much about uh, a teacher that has an affair with her student. She's married, you know, she's in her 30s, he's 17, 18-ish, you know, about to go to college, still in high school. Um, the whole thing, you know, is very inappropriate, uh, pretty creepy, a little nasty, but they uh, end up really caring about each other. Um, they grow some pretty deep feelings for each other, which is kind of cringe. Um, but it all blows up and the teacher gets in trouble. Apparently she goes to jail, the student goes to college and he's uh, pretty messed up behind it. The show pretty much reminds me of uh, the Mary Kay Letourneau story. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, it's pretty much, I feel like it's kind of based off of that, but um, I don't know for sure if that's what they based the show off of, but it does remind me a lot of that show, uh, a lot of that story. So, uh, Tonight's episode, episode seven, um, it was, uh, you know, it was pretty crazy. All of the other episodes have been um, from Claire's point of view, Claire being the teacher. Um, so it's pretty nice tonight seeing an episode from uh, Eric's point of view. Um, you can see how their relationship really affected him um, mentally. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, high school guys, you know, they're a little immature. They have like this fantasy about their teacher, which is a little weird to me being a female. Um, and you kind of see them touch bases on that in the episode. You know, he goes into college and he's looked at as like a legend or like a Mac, a Mac daddy or something by like all of his, you know, peers in college. They want to know more about the affair. You know, but like these kids are looking at it from an immature point of view. They have no idea that Eric is really experiencing some like mental and emotional pain uh, from that affair. Um, one thing that I thought was uh, very interesting about this episode is that Eric explains, you know, what went down. You know, um, if you've seen episode five, you know, you would know that it ended kind of on a cliffhanger. You know, you just see Claire turning herself in, but it really doesn't get into you know, what happened as a result of that. Well, in this episode, Eric explained it. You know, um, he had to testify against her. You know, he was a major, um, you know, he was a major uh, person um, that um, had her, you know, locked up. You know, and uh, that was pretty hard on him because uh, he did love her. You know, he revealed that he did have very strong feelings for her. He told her that he loved her. He really cared about her. You know, and um, he was pretty much uh, forced to make those decisions because of his mother, you know, because as a mom, naturally, you know, you would tell your kid, yeah, you know, you do have to testify against this person because, you know, technically Claire is a predator, you know, even though he may not see her that way, she is. Um, but he is experiencing some guilt behind that. So in episode five, um, when everyone found out about their affair, uh, Eric came up with this idea for them to just run away together. You know, it's something that he just wanted them to do. He wanted to be with her. He didn't want it to end. And um, Claire did it. You know, she followed and did it. Um, but because she ran away with him, you know, um, that added more to the trouble that she was already in. And Eric reveals that in episode uh, seven, which aired tonight. And you can just tell, you know, while watching this episode that Eric feels a lot of guilt because of that. You know, part of him feels like he, you know, did something wrong. Part of him feels like he put the woman that he loves in jail. You know, he's not looking at it like, you know, her actions put her in jail. He's looking at it like he did. And he's like really going through it over it. Another thing that I thought was really interesting about the episode is um, the scene with the stripper, you know, when he was finally, you know, welcomed into the fraternity. Um, they had like this big party and they had this stripper there and, you know, um, they had the stripper to give him a little extra special attention. 
And, um, you know, any other kid in his position would have been so excited, you know, they would have been really into it, but he wasn't, you know, he was disgusted by the stripper, you know, he just couldn't take it. He didn't want to be there, you know, he yelled, got up, ran out, you know, and, um, you can see like his now best friend, you know, running behind him, trying to get him to stay, trying to reason with him. And, you know, Eric just pretty much wasn't trying to have it. And I think that, you know, that shows that while everybody else, you know, views Eric in a particular light, you know, they're not really considering, you know, what he is actually going through, you know. And I like that the show is going in that direction because it does kind of shed light on mental health. You know, um, while people that have like different mental health issues may be going through certain things to everyone else, you know, they see them and they may look normal or like, you know, nothing is going on, but those people are, are really at war with themselves, are really at war in their minds, and that's pretty much what Eric is going through, you know, he, he needs a counselor, he needs help, and um, he's drinking and now doing drugs um, instead of getting a counselor, um, so one thing that I uh, thought was also interesting is that in the last scene of the show, um, after he ran away from the stripper, like his life depended on it, um, some random kid is in the hallway of his dorm with shrooms and just offered him to do drugs. And um, Eric decides to do them with him. And in that scene, while he's high and looking up at the sky, you know, he reveals that, you know, he loves Claire. He'll keep he breaks down, he loves her and he misses her, you know, and I thought that that scene was um, kind of crazy because during the whole episode, you know, he's kind of, you know, putting on this tough exterior, you know, kind of masking his emotions. And in that scene, he just kind of breaks it down. Um, so I'm really interested to see where they go from here. I'm really interested to see, you know, if he's going to go out of his way to reach out to Claire when she does get out of jail you know, and if he does do that, I'm interested to see what the dynamics of their relationship will be like, you know, um, he resents himself, you know, I wonder if she resents him as well. Um, I wonder if she owned up to, you know, the part that she played in, in everything that went down. Um, so I really can't wait until the next episode. When the next episode comes out next week, I'll be posting a video about it. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll be posting another video um, sometime this week um, about um, another movie on Netflix. I'm not really sure which movie right now, but I can't wait to do it. I'm excited. Um, so if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm new here, so show me some love. And um, until next time, bye.